Times don't. Every day you pray to God for the ones you love the most. Tell them more blessings, more blessings. Less stress and less stress. Uh, more blessings, more blessings. Uh, less stress and less stress. But sometimes it's so hard. Hold up. Sometimes it's so hard. People last, hard times though. Every day you pray to God for the ones you love the most. Hey, more blessings, more blessings. Uh, less stress and less stressing. Uh, more blessings, more blessings. Uh, less stress and less stressing. Hey, tough people last, hard times though. Every day you pray to God for the ones you love the most. Tell them more blessings, more blessings. Less stress and less stressing. Uh, more blessings, more blessings. Uh, less stress and less stressing. Uh, stress stress but Hello, 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 hello. What's going on, y'all? Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Welcome to another episode of Crowns and Head Ties. Uh, you have your host here. I am Jade, and aka Jade Rain. And we have a special co host with us today. This is Legend. Hey, Legend. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Going My on, son man. is multifaceted. There's many things that he has going on. So um, I know one of them is that you're coaching a basketball team, actually, right? Can you Wait, tell before us about we get that? into his coaching, I'm oh, sorry to cut you off. We y'all totally didn't acknowledge our other co-host here, Mister. We got a pumpkin that Jay did not fucking carve out, <laughs> and she she wa- she just dying for somebody to so acknowledge this pumpkin. Let's acknowledge Mister Pumpkin and with his crown. Drink some Henny. There we go. And he got on his front. <laughs> The tops and the bottom. He's bottoms, dripping. Baby. Drip, drip. All right, let's so go. legend. Now, I, let's go back We want to know <laughs> about your back. basketball team. All right, let's go, legend. What's up? Yeah, you know, you know, that, you know last, that, that, that last life. I did. You know, I did. Life for you now. I try to bring it up every now and then, you know, but I'm old and have bad knees, so. That's a, you know, girl, your but knees work he was just like, fine. no, but he offered to like help me out as far as like, yeah, you know, like getting back out. training and working because, yo, if you try to like get back into something after years, you think that it's, but no, like it's different now. I'm 27. I'm thinking like this kid in the court. Young. You're young no, I know I'm young, but I felt like Bro, I was Bro, you can still ball on him <laughs> like LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so legend, um, you coach, uh, boys basketball? I coach girls right girls? now. Girls? Yeah. No. Nice. Summertime, I do girls and Nice. Um, what's the name of the team that you're coaching right now? Um, right now my AAU is called Brooklyn Avengers. Nice. And it's me and my other partner Senyo. His name is Coach Two Step. Okay, shout out to Coach Two Step. <laughs> yeah. My son probably got the <laughs> on these tickets. Yeah. You got I mean, you got skills. I mean, I wasn't a good ball player, but, but you're I was a better coach. Smart. Nah. I'm a better person. Mm-hmm. So um, as I got older, yeah, yeah, as I got older, yeah, as I got older, I just learned how to deal with certain people. Okay. And I know how to mold certain people. Okay. You know, you got the kids that love tough love and the mm-hmm. kids that don't like tough love. Facts. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, that's what I really capitalized. Are you finding out things about yourself um, when you're like, did you find out new things about yourself coaching kids? Like, did you find out that maybe you're like not patient or or something like that? I mean, I always have been a patient person, mm-hmm. but sometimes you know when somebody is pushing your shit. Yeah. You gotta be patient. You got a little baby legend. I mean, Don't yeah, you? but still, that's two years now. Mm-hmm. He's about to be that's three next month. Well, Terrible uh-huh. 2's just started. Don't get too hyped. It's not Terrible 2. <laughs> terrible 2 is over. It's over? Yeah. Okay. Terrible, it's, it's about to be Terrible 3 right now. Word. Ooh, I'm I crazy. can't wait terrible. to have a little Please, puppy kid. Soon. You gonna have him playing basketball? course oh. and he's watching the game right now like he he trying to like brainwash him from now nice so when he sees the game he like all right because then you see how steph curry and them had you know they fall the brain right. exactly. The exactly so it's exactly. pretty much brain you know brainwashing your That's kids to do is. something i ne- necessarily don't want him to be a baller he could be anything he wanted mm-hmm. to be but but you want to like, but you want to introduce him to that, so it, yeah. so you know he at least got a at little bit of that juice in him and instill those yeah. morals exactly. because it takes I think a that's lot what anything with children, you know, they soak up anything that they're. No, that's in front just of, how the know? world is. Period. You got to learn how to do everything. Mm-hmm. So if one thing don't work, you got to go to the next. That's most what definitely, I asked. yeah. All that's right. Well, fun. at least we know who we dealing with today. This is our co-host, and he wears many other hats. We we gonna find out as the show goes along. So um, we want to open the show up with a special topic. We know it's about mm-hmm. ho- we know it's Halloween, but um, there's nothing Halloween. scary gonna be going on here. <laughs> Y'all got costumes? Are you dressing up? Oh, I'm not dressing up this Halloween. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna be a hot dog. Yo, shut up! No, you're not. I, I, when y'all see me with the big bun and the I'm, weenie, no, you're not. I'm about to come through with a Kanye outfit. Pause. 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 Pause with the big bun and the weenie. <laughs> Just, no, that's Kanye real life. Yes, or I'm gonna be a band aid. They have a band aid outfit in Rite Aid. You so you're really about to do that? I want to be something. Come on. When is the last time you seen a girl wear a non sexy Halloween right. outfit? That's right. At least that's I'm right. not hearing a bunny rabbit or it's, those or are I mean, the nurse. Yeah, the it's just stuff. like, all right. You know, we like it, but it's the okay. I think it's like funnier to just like do something that's out of the norm. So a band aid is cool. I could be a scab. Oh. <laughs> Ew, nasty. <laughs> so you All want right. me to be on your body? No. That's what you say? Best right. love. So, Let me stop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so for the most part, um, let's let's talk about exes. Y'all yo, about I mean, uh, Falshin says I always fucking talk about fucking exes. She talked about them too Yo, much. at the end of the day, it's just you like, always reviving these I things always about the like, let people like you know leave them in the past. You understand? But it's every week. I just feel like it's just something that just pops off in my life, and it's just either either it's exes. I mean, an ex. I consider an ex even like a fling or like an old fling. Or oh something no, like that. girl, no, no, or like, no, all right, all right, all right. no, well, no. You know what? <laughs> uh, a fling. So whatever. A nigga I used to talk to like you know I'm kind of like I'm talking to somebody right now and I stopped talking to this nigga like two months ago. I um, start talking to somebody. You know we chilling, we grooving, whatever, we good. This nigga pop up and text me and is like. You know I really cared for you, Bro, right? That's, that's the Spidey senses, son. Like, it just tingles off. And I feel like I've even been in a situation where I've been the one to reach out to, like, somebody. And they're, like, talking to somebody. And I fuck that whole thing up. Yes. But, oh, <laughs> just saying. Mm-mm. I'm saying I don't care. I don't care. It is you live and you learn. But you but said a I've few. I've been in a situation. I've been on both sides. All right, but you said a few months ago. Yeah. All right, so do y'all know what's going on with the whole Brittany Brenner thing and her new tell-all book? So with um, exes. Yeah. Listen, exes. She doesn't get cool points for that. First of all, that's a dub. First of all, do a lot. I don't know. If people, a lot of people know who Brittany um, Brenner is. I barely knew who she was. So Brittany Brenner is in uh, Brittany a Renner. Brittany Renner. <clears throat> oh, sorry, see, I'm so sorry. Brittany Renner is a fitness model. She's not a fucking fitness model. She says she's a fitness model to take the. To, she's to, taking away people's titles now. She says she's a fitness model to fucking like just put something else on. You know. Her ad is to her catalog, but, like, she barely does fitness modeling shit. She's naturally fit like that because she used to play soccer, like, and she got a soccer scholarship. And it was just a good, like, segue to be like, I'm a fitness model, and I have a nice ass, and I have a fucking perfect abs, which she does. So I'm going to say I'm a fitness Did model. She, her fucking posts are, like, 2% fitness, 90% ass, and yeast infection talk. So yeah, I'm just does. saying I'm just talking about so, that. That's I mean, weird. go look her up, Brittany Renner. I don't know her fault, but go go look her up. Um, go look her up, and you'll see. But yeah, she just dropped the tell-all book. 
What's the name of it? Um, it's called Judge This Cover. Yeah. So the book where is she's naked. Yeah. <laughs> On the front and the back naked. of the cover, she is. So she's in the back of the cover. She's doggy style, like is is out there. Is she? Like she's butt naked. You I didn't even the see the back of the cover. I'm gonna pull that up for you. I need to see that. You know what? I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up. I got y'all. Yo. So, but yeah. So I mean, so that's the title of the book. And basically, yeah. she has like what seven or so chapters named after different people. You know, not the real names, just the fake names that she's given them. And basically, these people are. Like her boyfriend that she had in like college yeah, and a regular lawyer for in bed. And then the rest of them supposedly are like celebrities and ball players and shit like that. Um, and like supposedly it's supposed to be like Ben Simmons is supposed to be one of them. Um, Lil Uzi. Colin Kaepernick. Col- Colin, who we know. Drake allegedly. Takashi 6 9 allegedly. Um, you know. she, she put up the post where she actually posted Lil Uzi and her caption was, I swallowed your kids twice before noon. I call that a champion's breakfast. Yo. So it's good to know that she's taking in her protein. She got bars. <laughs> she, got <laughs> bars. she got bars. Nah. She no. has bars. No. So how do you feel? All right. I want to know because we... we we're two women, and we're talking about this. Sh- How do you feel about a woman that's in the industry that makes a tell-all book, like, just airing niggas out? I mean, that's that's in the blueprint, I guess, because I guess they're looking for their intention. Mm-hmm. So, like, they got they got things they need to say to get attention. Shout out to Superhead. I mean, yeah, yeah she, she paved, paved the way. The yeah. way but she, she got blackballed, too. That book was amazing. But, but she got blackballed, too. Uh, see, now she a fitness, fitness, health, and yeah, wellness. Yeah, but, but niggas blackballed her, though. I wonder how her kids feel. She got I like think one son. She only got one son. How do kids feel? Like, I don't know. My mom is a porn star. That's something you know. Like, yeah, that's she's super that's, head. That's sad. Ah. I mean, I'm pretty sure she glorifies it to her child and she shields him from it's it. Like but when he goes to school. Ah, yeah, that's a fact. I don't know. I wonder how old he is right now. I don't know, but I'd be fucking tight. So, anyway, I'd be tight about that. <laughs> the point that <laughs> I wanted to bring head. up <laughs> is so, um,. There's the podcast State of the State of the Culture. That's Joe Budden's podcast that he mm-hmm. has with Remy Ma and other Revolt. Two people. Shout out to Revolt on Revolt TV, and he had the guest um, Scotty Beam, yep. the X ninety seven host. Um, mm-hmm. She was up there, and basically she was trying to say that it's niggas' fault for not choosing the right female to mess with, and niggas in the industry. That's or Period. That's correct. You feel me? That, that niggas period mm-hmm. just wanna. Like, smash everything. So they don't even uh-huh. think about, like, yo, this bitch could be danger or she could talk mad shit about me or I need to uh-huh. tread lightly. But Joe Budden's point is that she's cool with everything a woman does, mm-hmm. but she's trying to penalize men when she's the one doing the tell all book. So he's basically saying, like, women, his exact words, I wrote it down. Facts, I agree. He said, You cool with everything a woman do. That's my problem with this fake woman empowerment bullshit. Mm-hmm. So his point was that. Women empowerment is starting to be more like a male bashing thing as opposed to being like... It's always been a male bashing thing. Whoa. It's always been a male bashing thing. I, I understand and that. And that's from a male standpoint. It's not... Right, I that's what I'm saying. I you guys yeah. about that. And, you know, they feel like it's a... Uh, it is... And I kind of feel like it's kind of what it's turned that's into. That's what it turned into. It was, I mean, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it didn't really... You know, like the feminist movement didn't wasn't even for like us anyways. It's black women. We're not even going to talk about that. But I'm just saying like... It's turned into like a men versus women thing, and it shouldn't be. I understand thing. like the women side, but when it becomes like a, oh, like man, like you, you, you do kind of sound bitter, and that's kind of what Joe was saying in the podcast. He was like, "Yo, not you, for nothing." You constantly talk about Scotty B made a perfect point. Like she, her yeah. point was great, but her delivery trash. Like, you would have thought she had no sense. Yo. Because what she was saying was just Her emotion love. got into it, though. Right. Her and it's like, at the end of the it. day, you can't be trying to uplift this girl that's telling niggas business and be like, oh, well, it's the niggas' fault. No, it's not. And in that sense, I feel like the woman empowerment movement has been tarnished. It has been, like, spoiled rotten a bit because now just any bitch could pop up on the scene like, oh, well... I don't like him. He touched me 45 I mean, years ago. Like, you talking her- about niggas that you had sex with seven years ago in this book. Like... Why? Uh, but, you know, and the thing that really blew, blew mine, I don't know, Legend, I don't know if you saw it, right? But basically, she was just really going in. Like, Joe Budden was trying to tell her, like, yo, like, it's because she was like, why are y'all niggas surprised that she's got a tell-all book, right? And then he's like, it's not about us being surprised. It's the fact that, like, if you're going to say that um, 
this is about like men should just like get over it and you know this is what y'all do like it's women do it men do it like why is she just making it like a oh the man is the one who should like get over it type of thing and my thing is that at the end of the day she just looked like salty as fuck because it's like a I mean, she, she, that's what it but, sounds like. Sounds like she it just sounds, mad. And, and he was saying she was hurt. It, she big mad. At, she, she was the thing is you can't let emotion overcome you when you're talking to people because it's emotion. Especially not on a, a two million viewed fucking podcast. And she was like, oh, crazy. But men have been fucking. Men have been um you doing know, this for years. Doing this technically not I because it's here, no, I heard to be no honest, it's, it's, it's hip hop. It's hip and it's hip hop. It, no, there's a lot of songs that name drop, but it's low key shit. And it's like at the end of the day, these name bitches song. do what they signed up for. Jada Kiss talking about Superhead, different okay. things. You know, there's different songs. But we could we could like, go like on and on and on. Type of thing where she's like, because she was just making it seem like it's a like heavily done. I thing. think I think her thing was that. Like niggas do it so much to the point where you don't even have to name drop. It's just niggas is just shitting on bitches in their songs, which is cool. But it's it's at the end of the day, it's it's art. It's a part of hip hop, yeah. and that shit that happens. Like a, a bitch could go in a studio and talk about how yeah. much dick she suck and all this extra bullshit. Niggas not gonna judge us either. Niggas gonna fuck with it. Little yep. Kim came up off of it. Yeah, she did. Nikki damn near came yeah, up off did. of it. Like you gotta understand. So mm-hmm. it's it's there's a lot of shit there. So I want to know from a male perspective. How do you feel about the way women and men position themselves in the industry when it comes to like fucking on each other? But I mean, like at the end of the day, they should know it's nothing serious. You know, it's just business. Especially if a person, <laughs> especially if a person is just coming to you, you know, just for a fling. You know, like that type of. It's not like you're trying to marry a person That's what or I'm you're saying. trying to have a commitment. You're just trying to have a one and done. Sometimes people don't understand what a one and done is or that's, a two and, that's, and done. I, I, you know what? The celebrity world. Like, I, that's I, what I think she, every day. Imagine shit. how the celebrity world is. And we're just regular. We're not even mm-hmm. in the celebrity mm-hmm. world. We, we see it. Fuck. We're not we in the it. celebrity world yet. We see it. Yet. We see all of that. But it's mm-hmm. like, imagine what's going on there. Like, they got money. Yeah. They go other places. They fly other places. So it's like, do they, all this shit. Yeah, they do what the hell they want behind closed doors until somebody want to write a book about it. All right, boom. Who's your favorite um, Instagram girl? Like what model? Like it don't even matter. Picture, picture model. I, I would, I would yeah. say that I, we don't want you to do name you shorties one? from around I mean, the corner from no, your I crib. Don't, like, I don't have one, uh-huh. but you know, like I do look at my explore page a lot. <laughs> so and see I, what pops up on. Yeah, because I don't follow them. I just look on explore. Okay, right. You're one of the. Yeah. Okay, You're so one of the two percent. Do you have any? All right, so if I was to ask you. Like, all right, who's your ideal IG model girl? Who's I wouldn't the first have one. person? So no one's name came up in your head. No. Ooh, that's like one out of like a thousand. Niggas, he's, y'all. he's in the two percent. That's a fact. Nah, because I'm in a different. I'm in a different mind state. So Where's like, your mind state right now? Explore. I don't need to follow you to see your pictures, especially if yeah. you're showing your your body and stuff to mm-hmm. the public viewing. Mm-hmm. I can that's just go fact. to explore and see everything right there from explore. I don't need to follow you and. So you don't even know bitches' see. names. You just know, ah, nah. oh, fire. Why Scroll. do I need to know bitches' names? Do she know my name? Do she know fact. the person that's watching her that's name? And nah. you know something, being that you said, oh, you know, I could just go and I could just see, like, yeah. whatever, everybody, body. So, like, the one of the things that Joe Budden was really harping on, right, he was saying that, like, the, he was, what did he say? He was like, that's why I'm over this bullshit female woman empowerment shit. Right, But that's basically he he's saying he feels it's because we excuse um, fucked up behavior, Right. And we just basically try to say we could do it because a man can do it. So do you feel like that mm. that's what's pretty much going on? That's, that, that, so, that's what it's turned into? So gender I mean, roles. That tit, the tit for tat game been going on forever. Mm-hmm. But nah, it's like nobody's right right now. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody's going to be wrong. So yeah. I mean, I personally just feel like it. I mean, I feel like it's kind of turned into that. I feel like it's turned into, especially like with the Amber Rolls and the Slut Walk shit and all the extra shit. It's just like, yo, but people you know have been what? saying, yo, we can do it because... A nigga can do it, and I, and this is just based on like, and, and you can't say nothing to me about I it. I think certain shit has been taken out of context. I, I personally, I do not feel there should be a whole slut walk. Like that's od. I do feel like I'm sorry. Um, why do I want to be called a slut? I don't want to be called a slut. Like I'm not gonna to, be. She's like, trying to make history. She's though. trying to be, yeah. and she will, and she will. Her. If she didn't already, then she will. I mean, because I mean, Emma Rose is 
good. Like she fuck, like she she give it a nigga, she over a nigga, she with a nigga next day wearing matching outfits. Like like Amber Rose is in her own fucking world. We don't, She's her own but we don't know that though. But I don't think we don't live with them. I don't think that it's a. We don't really know that. Like maybe that like this. Maybe she's fucked up. Maybe she's heartbroken and maybe she pop mad pills and sniff mad lines to get over her fucking shit. And I don't think it's appropriate for her to fucking be like this is female empowerment and like displaying that message to like all women like and and young girls and be like this is what you should grow up and be like because no like you can do what you want to do but i don't think it's no that whole thing is wrong that's why i'm glad i don't have a daughter Mm -hmm. whoa whoa relax you never know somebody gonna call it into my place nah i'm saying that even if i (laughs) did remember last week what you did to me (laughs) when you didn't wear a condom it's like that's that's kind of bad though like you wear condoms of course all the time (laughs) not all the time but Sometimes. Yo, do you ever look at it? I'm it sorry. I need you to have an honest moment. Have sure. you ever fucked with a chick who you never got tested, didn't get tested, and fucked around a condom? Um, you have to give me a second. Uh, <laughs> that is, I couldn't, yes. I I couldn't mean, answer that. You know why I can't answer life. that? You know why I can't answer that? Because why? it probably happened multiple times. That's a fact. So it happened. And you can't. Yeah, but then you're not going to say yes, I think all of us happened. had that experience. Do nah. you have I've heard you say that she that. looked clean, so I don't need to wear a condom. Whoa. Have you, you see, have you that's the that thing. That's the thing. Have um, you ever said that in your head? Nah. Okay. I never did that. Like you know, what? If she, I did it, she's too if fired I did, to be fired out wow, there. Look, like. If I did, right, she done went through so much clearance <laughs> possible for me to do that. It's not, not like, oh, I just met you this tonight and then oh yeah, raw dog. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no that's different. I give, well, no, I give really. you a week. A I give you a week yeah. to hit sushi gang. I give you a week. Oh, niggas week. get out I of the fucking strip club with bitches right. and do shit like that. Niggas this happens happens all the time. Eat eat women's vaginas out like first bitches, night bitches be shit. sucking on yo, salty dick like yo i'm not gonna name i used to work somewhere a guy told men, me before Ooh, i used to work somewhere. somebody snitching a guy told i'm not gonna say where i used you to snitching. work a nigga i used to work with told me that it was his you birthday snitching. and he went his homeboy took him to a ha- um the happily ever after place oh where they get the it massages was, and yes do that? it was in the city like in a cut like in some secret place mm-hmm. he took him in there and then it was like pick a girl the nigga went, picked Don't the chick. Like, he, said shit, that right? he, like, <laughs> he said that they did everything. He said he 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 had he fucked her, ate her out, she sucked his dick, all this shit, wow. ate her ass. That must be a well, package. Son, you gotta, you gotta no, how much, he, how much he how much he paid you for? You must that. have been eating that on free will because if That's you're going fact. there, nasty, if you're yo. going there to get your business handled and you're handling and you're handling business, business. <laughs> yeah, don't really I mean, know. Yeah, too much chinese food man ah no that's yeah. Uh, no yeah that's bad that's pretty Sun. so let me ask you a question oh, God. yeah I so like how it. long I like how long song. does this go like oh all right, i just met this guy and uh, he looked clean as shit he smelled ah! good uh-huh. Oh, his breath smell good. Yummy. His underarms his smell don't good. Stink. His socks Yummy. don't stink. He don't got a stain. <laughs> that's a raw. That's a raw situation. That's a snack. That's a. That's a <laughs> is that a raw? <laughs> is that a raw situation? Whoa, that's not a raw. Situation. I, all right, so here's the thing. I think you How should do you never just know. <laughs> You you see you don't <laughs> determine. There's never a proper place and time to determine. We can't answer this when question. to hit somebody raw unless you decide to do the clinic trip together. Go to some shit in Harlem if you don't want nobody to see you in Brooklyn. Do something, but go together. All right. But a lot of us don't do it. We don't yes. do it. Period. A lot of us be like, nah, he's wavy, or nah, she's lit. I I know she ain't got no. Fish in the sea. Th- just stupid fucking thinking. Stupid just things. Stupid fucking We're just temporarily thinking. thinking, yeah. But well, I mean, we, I was I was about to say that this generation is stupid, but yeah. I'm not gonna say that because our parents is dickheads. That's how we all got here. Facts. <laughs> like they they was wilding like 70s 80s yeah, parties. Yeah, pops is wilding. Wilding got up the eight. place. Yeah, I'm That's only child. My parents wasn't wilding. Nah, I'm an only child. My fault. I got I like four brothers and like fourteen. Mm-hmm. No, I got like four sisters and like fourteen brothers. The Lord knows what, who the fuck they is. Like. <sighs> Rolling yeah, Stone. That's the thing. Like, yo, the um, unprotected sex is like, yo, we like it, but people, I don't understand. Like, we we have unprotected sex, knowing the result that of what's shit gonna happen. Feels if somebody, amazing, but then as soon as amazing. it's done. Kids Niggas are fucking like, oh, expensive. No, no, fuck a kid. You you talking about kids? You know how many? Yo, That's the least I got a worry. kid right now. I probably yo. How about getting an I got incurable a kid right STD? Like. I think I've actually. All right, mm. don't nobody quote me on this. I got a son. 
I'm not having no more kids until I get married. But I think I've probably had like four Plan B pills since I've had Tyson. Maybe. Pitch yeah. acid? Nah, maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm being nice. I had like 20 pills. <laughs> Nigga said, that's it, bitch. <laughs> No, nah, like niggas is nah, not trying nah. to have kids out Shit here. Shit comes I'm close. Not, but yet how we have plan, unprotected How much sex? plan B pills you done purchased? None. In your life? None. You're lying, First of all. I put that on my life. You're never. You, Legend so you make never sure he fuck with, with the girls with the bags. They could buy their yeah, own listen. pill. Y'all go Look, go not get, even that. that legend. It ain't about that. It ain't what about, is it about messing with a girl that got the bag or this, that, that. Mm -hmm. It's about. If they know what they got going on, uh -huh. then you could deal with them. If they don't know what they got going on, then that's a, you know, it's a risk. Uh, plan B, though. Like, sometimes you couldn't even tell if a female was on plan B. They could tell you they aren't it. No, not plan No, B that's birth control. control. <laughs> so what you talking about, plan B? Plan, plan B, B is the pill that you take when, all right, so let's say. That's how you hit it. Right let's oh, I know. All right, all right, all right. That plan B. Okay. Keep that plan B. Oh, yeah. I never bought that plan B. Okay. That's, a, that's an emergency. Yeah, it's that's an emergency. Yeah, that's a last minute slip up. Yeah, yeah I know. So you all right, you guys. To, never, plan ever. Plan B, you can sponsor us, too. We, we fuck with Planned Parenthood. You have to get some money at plan B before? You, you, yeah, yeah, never. Mm -hmm. All right. He didn't. Yo, what's up? I think that's, that's back like, in the day. Nah, you know what it is? Y'all just fucking around with these hood ass <laughs> niggas. That's like, yo, you that's know what way? it is. I'm, I'm, from I'm from Flatbush, man. I'm from Flatbush, man. I've never had a nigga classy, buy me a plan man. B. Like, classy guys <laughs> I didn't in need Flatbush. that. And, and if I if it came to a situation where I needed it, I'm not telling that nigga shit. Like, I'm going to See? handle my business. I don't need you to. Why am I going to hit you? That's a good example. Why am I going to talk to you and be like, you know what? You did this to me. So I need $60. Did it, like, what the fuck? Nah, man? nah. Get up on my face and I'll nah. handle my business. I, myself. that happened before, but I, I had a nigga, we had sex. Nigga came in me, didn't tell me he came in me. I went in the shower, shit was dripping out, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yes, I was well, sorry, all right. I'm sorry, man. That's like, too All right, rapid. but shit about Yo, that, like he has to out. tell you. He and has I, to tell you. So Don't come in that? a female. Who does Ella, that? He was trying to trap me. Don't come in a female oh. and not tell her. Nigga was trying Females. to trap me. I was like, nah. So I'm like, yo, you're buying my plan B pill. Yo, I literally went in the shower. The jizz was coming down my... I'm sorry, my future Ew. husband. I apologize. I'm good down there, but I'm just saying. Yo, hey, y'all thought I was doing me. too much last episode when I was... It the episode before last me. when I was talking about my hairy coochie. And she here talking about her, the jizz. So I had to make Dripping him, down her shit. Because that was crazy. Yuck. That was crazy. I'm sorry. And that nigga had like three kids. So I was like, I think he was just trying to trap me and make me like. That's a shooter. Mom. That's what you call a shooter. Ew. <laughs> a real shooter. <laughs> I said, no. That's an American soldier. And I had to shoot that. her down and real I quick. Had to I had to do that. I had to do nah, that. But I think you want that kind that's, of smoke. That's a, that's a strange game, though, because at the end of the day, sometimes, like, you don't really get into it just to do it. Like, oh, I'm going to shoot it down. But sometimes you get stuck in that sometimes position. Sometimes shit gets get real. Yeah. And then, shit get hot. And then, especially certain people that's like, Messed up in their mind, they feel like that's gonna keep the person connected with them. Yeah. So it's like you know, like. Ooh. So can we talk about that? What? Can we talk what about mental mean? connections? No, yeah. I I think you could talk about it right now, but like the time, state, and like you got this topic up, and it's like. I mean, this is going anywhere, yeah. but we'll talk about more shit Let's when go. we get back from the music break. But I mean, oh wait, no, no music break yet. All right, so we got a few minutes, so we can't call, we can't talk about that in a few minutes. That's that's a little heated. That's that yeah. that uh, shit'll get real. Well, but before we get there, going back to this whole Britney Renner situation, at the end of the day, if for people who follow her, she you can clearly see that she and she talks about it in her book, right? She clearly had some issues growing up, issues with her moms. Yo, she fought her moms. She got a knife on her mom's and everything. Like, what does she mean? Listen, she's she like she white is and mixed. black. She's white and black. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. She wants money. Yeah. She wants That's money. That's a fact. But at she the end of the money. day, it's like you when you know that people have grown up in dysfunctional situations, and you know now that they're adults mm -hmm. and haven't dealt with the dysfunction, and they're trying to like figure shit out and get attention different ways. Like as a man, right? Mm -hmm. Seeing someone like that, like if you're if you've met her, right, and you're feeling her, do you? Do, do you take it upon yourself to speak about that shit or do you like just see that as like a, I'm a fucking All right, dip, now, you know? This, this is where the line gets drawn right here. Now, yeah. I understood if she went to school for journalism mm -hmm. and stuff that really she could write yeah. right, some powerful right. stuff, mm -hmm. but she didn't do that. Right? Mm -hmm. She's just so, a regular nah. workout person that IG feels like model, she needs like. to write a book to probably bash a few guys down because yeah. she felt hurt in the long run. You know what I'm tired of people doing? And it's, it's not only women, it's men, women, <clears throat> sorry, goldfish, whoever the hell, whatever. I'm tired of people using their 
early childhood traumatic experiences for the excuses for the dumb shit that they do today. It's full of shit. Yep. It's bullshit because that's the biggest excuse. I don't went through mad shit. Yeah. You don't went through mad mm-hmm. shit. I'm yeah. sure you don't went through mad shit. Yep. Yeah. People go through things. And uh yeah, your, your mom's about, but... pulling the knife on you, you mm-hmm. whatever you fist fighting your mom. First of all, you're a dickhead because you mm-hmm. should never touch your mom. One. Mm-hmm. Two, like that is no excuse for you to be a complete whore. If you're so beautiful, you're like black youngster, dead ass. Whore. If you're whore. a young woman, no, dead ass. Don't black do that. Youngster. It's not an excuse for doing anything that you've done. If you are beautiful, if you have assets, if you have, be smart too, bro. Like, cause one day you're going to wake up and shit is going to be shriveled up and gone. And yes. What are you going to do? Gonna like, titties going to be sagging. Titties going to be, dust. titties going to be raisin, girl. So like, at the end of the day, you know, like we, we can say, we, we can say it's easy to like, to not blame shit, but some people really just don't have it in them to like work on themselves. That's, that's just fact. what it is. Like that's some people don't have it in them. So they choose, so they choose to do, so they choose to like delve into like the fucked up, um, toxic shit. That's a fact. And it's sad as sad as it is. That's just the reality of it. Everybody is not strong enough to really attack their fucking demons or attack shit that fuck them up as children and like move forward. So we're going know? into our music break now. Uh, me, Jade, we got our co-host legend. We fucking it up right now. I hope you guys are tuning in and we'll be back.
All right, y'all. Welcome back to Crowns and Head Ties, episode four. It's slick right now. All we right, got a legend in the you building. Saw Kelly. So was it Kelly, y'all? Tao Shin, y'all. Stupid. Shit is going in a great direction yeah. right now. So it's Halloween. We, we want to talk legend. about scary shit. I, I said legend. Aye, aye, you was, aye, you aye, was aye, talking aye, about Wizard Kelly. Aye, yeah. I definitely do. <laughs> scary shit. Legend. Halloween. So um, let's talk about they had scary problem. Halloween characters. So who's the scariest, fucking creepy, make you jump in a the movie theater ass nigga that you know? I mean, yo, I'm not jumping in the movie Come theater. Come on, all right. Now you trying to like, nah, I'm jump. serious. Like, um, I'm no, so he, serious. No, you know why? He's, he's really not. Though. I was traumatized from young, man. I used to <laughs> always, like, I put myself in that predicament. Like, I just watch a lot of crazy stuff so uh-huh. I could get over the fear. Mm-hmm. Now, but the craziest thing right now probably to see is a crazy clown. Oh, my Who, God. It? Yeah, you don't think seeing that might oh bug you out God. a little bit? I, I think the old it. Is crazier than the new it. Now nah, his forehead is trail. mad crazy. The new one, that nigga. That that excuse made me. me laugh. Excuse he was, me. He made me laugh. Excuse like, me. What? My forehead is crazy. Yo, Y'all scared of me? <laughs> That's a miniature forehead. Shut up. Compared no, to that nigga shit. You no. The old. You remember the old it? Yeah. The old it was scary. Like he was real. He wasn't trying to be funny or nothing like that. This new one, he was super. He, he blew was mine. Funny and was like, oh, no. Yeah, the Oz, Oswell. Oswell. Oz, yeah. yeah, nah. The yeah. old one was 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 lit. What about you? The scariest character for me is fucking Jeepers Creepers. <gasps> me too. Jeepers Creepers. That's, well, that's number. No, that's like nah. number. Jeepers, Jeepers Creepers. Uh, have nah. y'all seen Jeepers Creepers? Nah, first is. of all, he is looking scariest. Yo, you're bugging. Nah, that's nah. Get mad. Kev, get Kev. Kev, 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 Kev,
would get up out of here with that little insect. It was weird. It was freaky. But <laughs> look at his face. Like, I wish I could see his face right now. But nah, Jeepers Creepers was dumb. Whoa! Because you cannot stop that nigga. Like, let me tell y'all something. What? I was living in Hawaii when Jeepers Creepers the first one came out, and my cousin. Uh. <laughs> Nobody farted, you guys. What's wrong with you? Foreign. And oh, I thought you said somebody farted. Foreign. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Farts are pretty scary, too, depending on the smell. Okay, so, yeah, I was living in Hawaii when Jeepers Creepers came out, the first one. And when I tell y'all I used to be shook to walk around that house after watching that, Jeepers Creepers, and you know who else is scary as fuck, y'all? Candyman. Y'all don't know about Candyman? Candyman Yo. was a scary black nigga. Like, you ain't had that much black people. First of all, I think Jeepers he Creepers just was meant was to be tight. Black. That nigga was tight. He, that's was, why. Scary. he was, it was a It was a scary movie. Well, he, he was wasn't oh, scary. He wasn't why scary would somebody? No, y'all. All right. So that's my fairs. They, they're I obviously think, trying yeah. to take away from my fairs. Nah, but that's just know. a. So what if he was just a black educated man in the movie and, and just popping up in niggas' and mirrors? Yeah, just become a bumblebee. I'm scared night. of any Some black shit. intruders in my house. Like, period. Don't come. I don't want to see you that in my could mirror. Be a stepfather, man. Went, I'll mean? be scared. Of, I will fuck that nigga up too. Like, <laughs> Son, no. Be your uncle, Candy your stepfather. Was like, was scared of candy nah. man. I he was looked like so a principal. Scared of him. Like I couldn't be. I couldn't be scared of him. <laughs> nah, uh, but, uh, like uh, but but are you gonna say Candyman? Candyman? Candyman in the mirror? Exactly. Of course. Nah, when that movie first came out, I had to. Say it. No. Everybody had to say it. Y'all know who else is scary? I did that shit run out. But I nah, y'all know who else is scary? I said that. <laughs> that's, the best, that's the best thing ever. No, yeah. he's not. Michael Myers? No, he's not. Michael he got the good suspense music. He not that's scary. what I'm saying. You hear that shit, you like, oh. Yeah, you know something is going to die. Yo, if I see yeah. him in real life, like, I don't, like. Somebody got to die. You I would, we just have to, like, like. First of right, all, if that shit him. if that shit came on right now, yes. out of nowhere, while we recording, all the shit went off, and the lights went off, y'all niggas would be shook. I don't care. That's when y'all. That's when the men gotta go niggas through it. Do they be shook? <laughs> niggas like, do, 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 do. No. I bet y'all niggas gonna be scared. Nah. Yeah, I, he wasn't scary to me. Freddie was scary to me, even though Freddie was jokey. Freddie was scary. Why? He was because scary. he was scary. To Why? Me. Because he could get into your. He was scary. He could nah, get into he your dreams. Face, like man. that's next level. Whoa, like you couldn't even that's sleep. A like you couldn't sleep. That nigga would get into your dreams. That's that was fact. next. See, that's level. what people get mixed up. That What's scary level? of being like a character that has the craziest face, teeth yeah. coming out the lip? Yeah. Then yeah, that could be something scary. But like, if you look like a regular Joe Schmo, you're not gonna be. Scary. Nah, that fact. Yeah. So that's why that other. That's why Michael yeah. Myers and Jason sure. were too scary. Michael Myers not scary to me either. Jason not scary. Yeah, Michael Myers not scary. Not scary. Like a did y'all ever player. see Thirteen Ghosts? The movie Thirteen Ghosts from back in the day. I did, but I don't remember it. Yo, Thirteen Ghosts. They, 13 I think it was ghosts. like a ship. It was like a ship crash or some shit no. like that. No. So I'm trying to remember. That? Thirteen Andrew, Ghosts. It was a house that had some different chambers and shit. All oh, right. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They had some weird shit. That, that shit was kind of scary. I now definitely remember that movie. Nah, people was getting cut in half and cut stuff. Half. Yeah, and like you see that ghost Slight running in the house. Oh, yeah, I don't know that movie was great. Paranormal shit. Paranormal. After all the fucking scary Halloween shit, paranormal shit is like the most scariest shit because you can't stop scary um, shit. Do y'all know what's really scary? What? The Purge. No. I don't care what nobody that says. Mean. That shit is wild scary. Y'all could. I don't care. Cut my ass all you Saw. want. Saw. Saw is. No, Matt says soft. No, soft. Y'all no, talking, like, that's, are talking that's, that's creepy. Y'all are talking about characters. I'm talking about the fact that the world could actually become a place where there's one day where niggas ain't got no rules. Everything is lawless. If you don't got, are you gonna big, go out? Are you if going you out? don't got big stinking man gun, nah. then your it's over for you. Like, are you going out? Or are you staying in the crib? Jade, what I you can't, doing? I can't stay inside. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna go out? You gonna go out? I'm going I'm to have to link up. You know what? Legend might know a few niggas with some big dirty guns. I'm going to have to link up with him. Legend's like, like, man. Nah, know. I know, I know, the, I know the, the whole key to get away from that. Get, a, get out of America. Just leave America. Hold up. There's what one the day, 24 oh hours, God. where you're going. I'm leaving before the day start. What? Why? Oh come why? on. Why? No. no. Why? Why? I'll come back. There I'll come back. No Probably all my exes is dead. <laughs> you feel me? All, all the baby mothers no, out there, they gone. Him. No. Not like that, you Niggas know. killing off the exes and the baby mom. Yeah. Those are all that's females. Women stand up. I'm taking up. my family with me. My family's coming with me. Oh my but God. all the bad stuff Where you that's going, going on. You're going to Jamaica. Anywhere but here. <laughs> Anywhere but nah. here. I might go to Panama. How about that? Oh, well, all right. I'm pretty sure them niggas going to be purging too. They need it. 
Yes. Yeah. No, 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 it's only in the United States. States. But, what, but what? All right, no. So what if it was worldwide? Just then what? one day. Then what? Then what? What are you doing? Ooh. I'm going to think of something. So the brain is going to think of something. Yeah. Niggas going to be like, yo, I remember that nigga legend. They want to make me hit his spliff. I'll be at Area 51. How about, about that? His <laughs> what do you think about zombies? Like... I'm not it's, talking about zombies. I'm not corny. talking about the small zombies. I'm talking about the um, like the like um, I am legends. Um, I am legend. Mm. The I am legend That's, zombies. Those are like the upscale yeah. zombies. Those get shit. It, get it. Get it. Those shits was crazy. Like, Believe it or not, we might get to that point because they make it so much viruses and stuff. First of all, we the just virus, seen a virus that's what it on is. TV. That's what, what it that? is. It's a virus. a virus that's going to change your, your mutate yeah. into something else. It enhances your, your cells and all this stuff. So you start growing stuff. You start jumping yeah, so off. So it's the not necessarily thing. an alien, sometimes but sometimes it's. Oh, it's why don't you go to school or superhuman enhancement so we can figure out a cure for this shit just in case? I don't want to be a doctor. Nigga, well, 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 then we asked out if we fucking had it. You're going, to, you're going to be a doctor waste time. If anything, I'll be a dermatologist to pop people's pimples. I love that. Do you guys follow Dr. Pimple Popper? No? Nobody? No? For I'm a person that one? doesn't get no pimples, you like to pop pimples. I love it. That's weird. So juicy. I'm going to call you when I have a big it's one. so yeah. wet, guys. It's so nice. All right. <laughs> Pause. It's pretty nice. Whoa. I'm not talking about that. Um, so since we're favorite. talking about like Halloween shit, like let's talk about some weird like sexual Halloween facts. Like some about that? sexual phobia. You know we have our sex facts every episode. That's a fear. Now that it's Halloween time, this is our Halloween pumpkin. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at her pumpkin. This is my pumpkin. It's a pretty nice pumpkin. Um. Um, let's talk about like a few things. All right, so let's start off with um, how do you pronounce it? It's spectrophilia. No, paraphobia. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes. Oh no, so we're not. Okay, so paraphobia. Yes. So that's the fear of sexual perversion. So boom. Do tell. I know it's it's pretty. Um, do tell. Strange when you're just mm -hmm. saying the definition. So for example, if let's say I owe you five dollars mm -hmm. and you like. Yo, where's my five dollars? And I'm like, yo, you're a pervert. Like, you really asking me for that five dollars, mad hard and crazy. Like, that's what's like sexual fear of sexual perversion. Like somebody who brings it up over and over again, or like if you compliment someone uh -huh. and they're like, uh, let's say they're like, oh, you look very nice today, and you're like, there's Wait, people out there like, like that who get up. Uh, that's a so whole weird, my love. And there, and that's like one in twenty four thousand people. There's a billions and billions of people on this earth like that's a lot of people that's weird i don't know like that's know, a phobia but I, do, but I mean people there's a whole bunch of fucking phobias like there's a phobia called um what is it spectrophilia basically and that's um it's not a phobia actually i was lying but it's that's actually like spectrophilia it's, it's, it's a philia it's not a <laughs> phobia said, it's a philia uh, but it's to, a sexual to attraction to ghosts off. I was watching Son of Anarchy, right? Uh -huh. I don't know if anybody watches that. I dabbled in it. I couldn't get into they had it. A, they had a guy that had something people. called CMD. What is okay. that? I forgot what it is, but every time. But what is it? I don't know. I'm going to tell you exactly what it, it does. Yeah. Every time he start chilling, he put his hand in his pocket. And, start and he jerks off. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's I'm like trying to remember. What it what is really called? That's though. like the Somebody corner store man like on my block. He's CM, like that. Um, he just be shaking it. Some uh, some crazy nastiness. <laughs> shaking it in public, just Anywhere. bro. Have nah. you ever come to my corner store one day? He gonna see you. He's gonna be like, Ugh, no. Um, that yeah. is disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's fucking weird. Have you guys ever done mutual masturbation in front of your um significant other? No, I never did it. I have. That's I never fun. Did it. It's so fun. It's easy for women, but I never did no, it. No, yeah, that's it nice. I say now the reason you why I say that. No, nah, the reason why I say it. that. No, nah, the reason why I say that is because. Are you scared? Are you shy? No, it ain't about that. What's it about? It's about <laughs> when you having sex with a person at uh -huh. the end of the day. Yeah. Turn me on. Okay. All right. If that's you cool. ask me to turn you on, then it's different. It's okay. always a woman. No. I'm telling you. It, it for is, me. It is a big for a world. Male, look, no, for a facts. male, for a male, turn me on. It's like oh, oral or some shit like that. So you like, need you need physical you really contact with somebody. Go hold on, hold on, just by looking at. Them but that's sometimes. but that's 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 okay though, because everyone we're not I'm all the same. If he needs turn to be physically <laughs> encountered to be turned on, that's cool. That's but hard. I don't really need you. Don't you don't even gotta touch me. So if a, so if your significant other says I want to masturbate mutually, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna be like, why am I waxing my Listen, meat for you? You're here, wax I'm, it for me. I'm <laughs> with it. 
I'm with it, but I'm just saying, yeah, like, just, just I, understand, it, right? I understand both. Nah. I understand both. I understand both. I never did done it. everything. Just try it. No, but I never time. did it though. So me it. knowing myself is like, oh, we're nah, I ain't gonna do that. I already know just what to tell do. Her, tell her where shy. Shy. I already know what to do. Tell her where something sexy. You are gonna get shy? It's cold. Get like a. Have you ever gotten shy while having sex? Of course. I think yes. Of course, you have to. Yeah, you, does, so you yes. just you just woke up and walked into no, sex no. and lost your virginity like that. No. Like, I'm just that's doing my shit. That's how y'all making this seem. Like y'all just nah, no, I'm not. No, nah, I've I just, been extremely shy. I've done some dick. Into it. Nigga, I didn't bump my head on shit during sex. I didn't look mad stupid. I didn't drool. It kept going right. It kept like, going right. Sorry. It kept like, going right. Hurt, yeah, bitch. Hurt so oh, you thought? But has it ever stopped you? It's never stopped. This a lonely, not a stopwatch. Shit don't never stop. <laughs> Answer this though. Imagine you had an ugly. Uh, uh, uh. You think you was playing Wait, hold on, with that yourself would never in front of the next guy, and but he was y'all like, on? But if he's fucking with you and like oh, he used to no. seeing it, then so if a dick girl, soft. <laughs> oh, no, be careful with the table, that. you guys, because <laughs> they could, I don't want. We don't want to sound like an I earthquake. Don't see that? I definitely don't want to see what? that. What you don't want to see the girl of your dreams rubbing on that? He said thing, it was ugly. Like, if it looked like an old man's face, right? Nose long down. You think that's turning me on? So, all right. So, hold up. You're, and you're masturbating you're, yourself? Your visual of the woman and her pussy, it doesn't matter if her pussy is attached to her and she's like, oh, the best amazing thing ever. You, like, separate the two? Have like, to. If it's, if it's a bad movie, it's a really bad is. movie. If it's a good movie, it's that's a good movie. weird. And you've, and, and you've built a connection outside of. Like I would have to find care. something to block that out. If your out. pussy is ugly, he yeah. don't want to make you rub it. That's it. That's it. That's right. What do you think old. is gonna fucking happen when y'all niggas get old? I, and I, and I, y'all are so pretty. Make, nah, to make it make it fit for y'all. Y'all like ugly dicks. Get dick in there. Y'all like ugly all dicks? dicks are, uh, all no. dicks are no, ugly. No. Exactly. All dicks are Thank all you. dicks are not ugly. Serious no, problem? some no. dicks look. All Foul? dicks are ugly. Yes, dicks are dicks. It's a dick. Dicks are weird looking things. They look like big fucking. It's things. a dick. Pussies are weird looking things. Pussies but, are weird, but yeah. pussy, but a pussy can look like a flower. A million lines. A pussy can look like a universe. A pussy can look like pussy. same thing as a dick. <laughs> Hello. A dick. Hello. Like a, a dick can look yeah. like anything. The building, the Eiffel a, Tower, a, a, a train, a bus. Oh, oh, all, all ugly like, ass shit. Like, a mic, a Hennessy bottle. Why would I want a, a dick that look like a Maybach? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I want to take that little fucking thing. No, you want the Maybach money that's attached to the dick. Thank you, say Mama Maybach music. I like this Maybach music. So also another one was um it was um all right so yeah spectrophilia sexual sexual attraction to ghosts and spirits. So there's people out there who are sexually attracted to like ghosts and spirits and shit like that, or who have said that they've had an encounter. Sexually with the ghost or a spirit. Yeah, that's just weird. You you know what that makes me think about? Y'all seen scary movie, right? <laughs> with with <laughs> when the Regina, what's her name? Oh, no. Regina Re- Bell. When Regina King. Regina King. Regina when, King. No, not Regina King. It was that's a the white girl, girl from Seven Seconds. No, that was. She was okay, having yeah, sex was with the ghost. I don't, I don't remember her name. Yeah, yeah, with oh the white girl. Yeah. You're right. What about the, remember the clown who had the sex with the dude? He wrapped the shit around his neck and pulled. Oh, the that was gay. That was some. <laughs> that was the gayest. That thing. was that was the I most. Fire yeah, scene I've ever thing. seen in my Sean, life. Now Sean Wayne's. But yeah. Sean Wayne's is good for that gay shit. Yeah, he's straight shit. gay. He's straight gay. Oh, no, Sean, Sean Mind you, we are not a homophobic funny. station, no, and nah, we are not against people. it. Nah, but no, Sean no, be yeah, ODing. He's <laughs> like, nah, he's killing. But the yeah, culture. the white chick had sex with the yeah. <laughs> so um, I I was watching a documentary about that. Um, what what is it called again? Can you say the name for it? Documentary? No, no, the name for oh, it. Oh, spectrophilia. Spectrophilia. Okay, so yeah, um, I was watching a documentary about it and there was a segment where a woman her husband died during a car crash Mm -hmm. and she said that she like nothing could arouse her nothing at all except for when she looked at a picture of her husband and then later that night she would have a dream and about him wake up and like his spirit would be there and they would like have spiritual sex that's different yeah so it is i mean but there was nah like at the end of the day like that happens and you know they said that there's like you know a succubus like which is like a a spirit that comes in the form of like a female like and that to take over guys and have sex with them or the incubus which is like the male version and like there's a whole bunch of cultures and says that 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 happens like that's but that shit is scary they as had fuck. a show they that had a show yeah. they got it, shows like that it's though. not really yeah. scary yeah. to me it's, it's it's a taboo yo yo but it's what? not scary Falchine, you're yeah. telling me if a fucking demon 
What? You you, know, you, you see you you shit. taking it to the negative. That's what like it I is. just it's a demon I just that said comes in the form of a you said it's not scary. That's not scary. No, to you. I mean for example, if I lost my husband in a car crash and He's he wanted to he that. wanted to spiritually bake these buns, no, he could get it. Like I'm just saying, like of course that's your husband. I didn't say your husband. I said a demon that comes in a form. But why would a demon want to? But this is we're talking about a phobia or not not a phobia. I'm sorry, and and um condition where people are attracted to ghosts. That's different if it's First your of all, that's different. There's people who are just weird as fuck and just talk about But it, me like, saying that shit out loud, that shit sound mad stupid just now, so I want to take that back. That shit sound <laughs> Nigga said, <laughs> bitches that's attracted to go. Where you going to see them at to be attracted to them? Like, graveyard. Halloween is their favorite time of year. That's right. Yeah, let those women have sex with ghosts, man. They got real women that's going through other things right now. That's a fact. Sexually. Yeah, because so, people yeah. getting their clitorises I, I seen amputated. That on Vice, the, what the um they had like the the dildo and you could like cremate the person and oh, put yeah. the ashes and get, and get inside a, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I, I seen I, it on I, I seen it on Vice. Whoa. I forgot what the show was called. That's just two, it's, like, a, it's on the two chain show. It's like yeah, like forty five k to do that. Do you know the name of the two chain? I forgot. Show? That Fuck. shit is. I'm sorry. I was like, watching it. Um, that shit is I was watching it the day before yesterday, and it's really a good show. Shout out to two chains. You feel me? We are to Vice. Vice. We're gonna get there soon. What Iceland is dope with Jesus and Miro. Do y'all watch Jesus and Miro? I love Jesus, Jesus and Miro. Miro Shout out dope. to them. I aspire to be you one day. One day. Yeah. But that shit is, I'm sorry. That's not going to do shit. Like, you tell me I'm going to put my ashes, I'm going to put my dead husband's ashes in a dildo or something and hope to get. I'm sorry. Like, no. 45 That's when you need therapy. So we got, <laughs> we got two minutes left in the show, y'all. Any last that words? Is. Anything y'all want to say? Um, Halloween is here, and I don't Be have a safe. costume. I need a fucking costume. Be so safe, y'all. That's it. That's Hit me up on my Instagram at Jaderade and give me some costume ideas. I need a costume. Y'all don't need to give me no hot, uh, no costume ideas gonna because be hot I'm gonna be a hot dog. Um, follow me at beauty dot fal b e a u t i dot f a l mm -hmm. on Instagram and legend. No, no Instagram, none of that. No face, no face. He's incognito out here. You gotta see me when you see me. Catch him yeah. when you catch see him, bro. When you see Follow him. these ladies, though. Catch him doing innovative shit. You feel me? Thank and you. crowns underscore head ties. Nice. Follow us. Shout out to S Street Media. Our home. Thank you, you know, for, you know, having us here. Thank you for fucking with us the long so way, the strong him. way. <laughs> and we'll so catch y'all next week, Sunday, here. Yeah. Same time, same place. Fuck with us. Yep. Yeah. We, we out of here.